Hey Pokemon fans, Almighty Arceus here on Cool Shallow's channel to bring you some Pokemon Sun and Moon shiny speculations. Cool Shallow's going to be running this with his artwork, but he's going to have different Poketubers narrate for each episode. I got the first one, and the first episode we got up is some shiny starters. We're all wondering what they're going to look like, right? Like they could be living in different habitats, why they're going to give us different colors. So let's look into it, shall we? The first one we're going to start up with is our adorable little egg looking owl, Rowlet. So we're going to do this two ways. We're going to do what we expect them to look like as well as what we want them to look like. So what we expect them to look like is what we're doing right now. What the creators are probably going to make Rowlet look like in game. So for this, we expect some kind of green mint shamrock looking feathers, something that's very light uh, with a kind of blue teal green bow tie something that's relatively simple still looks pretty adorable kind of looks like a shamrock shake to me i think it kind of looks like a mcdonald's shamrock shake but i think it's pretty cute but cool shallow thinks we can do better he's got a better idea for us so we're gonna hook that up right now we've got a rallet with some really nice looking dark brown feathers and some deep green kind of grass looking bow tie something that's a little bit less like the mint uh, teal green that he had started before and something more along the lines of something that's that's very naturey, kind of like he's living within a tree itself so it blends in pretty well for his habitat I think because you expect owls to be in those little hidey holes and trees and so he has a very kind of tree like color with a very leaf oriented uh, looking bow tie right there which is exactly how he would blend in in the real environment that he lives in so coming up next we got Litten and there's two different ways again that we expect them to look so how we expect them to look in game is going to be something that kind of looks like an inverted tiger colors with some darker colors as the base with an orange for stripes. So we're going to have orange irises, orange accents, that little cross thingy on the top of his head and his stripes around are all going to look like a nice tiger orange. And the backbone of his body is going to be like a dark brown, something that looks a little bit more like a cat, more liony, you know, something that you would find in the wild. And this could blend in maybe in some of the more volcanic regions of Alola, somewhere that is kind of hot and arid. It matches a lot with the lava. I don't know if there's going to be any desert areas, but if there are, he'll also blend in pretty well in a desert area. And that would be a good kind of shiny, but we think they can do better. So here comes Cool Shallow's interpretation. He thinks, you know, we need to have something that is a little bit more outlandish, something that's a little bit cooler and more striking, something that's not just a color swap for a habitat. So why not give him some flashing accents? Why not give him some nice yellow colors? Keep that dark black because that dark black's a good base and give him some nice cherry red eyes to keep him look a little bit menacing. So here we are with that final form. He's looking real menacing. He's ready to fuck shit up, to be honest. Ooh, I shouldn't say that. Maybe that's going to get censored. Who knows? Next up, finally, we got Poplio. And Poplio's got a few different interesting interpretations. I personally like both of them. This first one, what we expect them to do, is going to turn it into something that looks a little bit more kelpy. Something that Pokemon's done before with a lot of shinies is they just kind of change the hue of the color that it is to something that's a little bit lighter, but keep the color relationships relatively the same. So we're seeing that happening with this Poplio. We're going to have something that's a little bit more seafoam green. Kind of looks like a tint shift, but I think it's actually a very pleasant color. It looks like it would blend in very well with seaweed, be a very good at camouflage aspect for Poplio as it is. So there it is. Looks pretty, pretty similar, pretty nice. It's nothing really to complain about, but I agree with Cool Shallow on this one. They can totally do better than that. And I think Cool Shallow takes a lot of inspiration here from an actual sea lion, which is what Poplio is based off of. He uses like an actual dark brown, which is the color that sea lions are in real life and makes it look more animal-like as if it were an animal that existed. It still has that clown nose that's cute and adorable, but the solid parts of its body look a lot more sea lion-like, like an actual sea lion. You have that nice little gray brown shade going on with a little bit of color swap in the nose as well to something that's a little bit more orangey pink and a nice dark accent in the little frills that it has around its neck. So it looks a lot like a nice little cute circus performer as if it were in real life. So that's what we've got for our Alolan Starters Shiny Speculation video. If you like this video, please make sure to drop it a like, maybe favorite it, subscribe if you like all of Cool Shallow's art. I know I do. Cool Shallow's an amazing artist. I'd like to thank him for letting me drop in on this. 
I'm Almighty Arceus. If you want to check out some remixes, some theories, some Let's Plays, all that good stuff, make sure to head over to my channel as well. Thanks so much for watching.